Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for February 2024. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's see what's going on with you for the month of February. What do we have for Pisces? New love. Romantic feelings. Mystery and fated meeting. Okay. Looks like there's something in the works for you when it comes to love. Some of you are meeting somebody new by fate. Okay. It got noisy just now. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, you got pushover. Union. The main event, reaching the climax in your story, the best part, happy ending, and you got good news on the horizon. So something good is about to happen for you. There could be a committed relationship coming in. There could be someone who's very giving coming into your life. Pisces and the person they are currently thinking about. What's the energy between these two for February? Pisces and the person they're thinking about. Someone's feeling heartbroken over you, but they're not doing anything about it. They're not making a move. You could be feeling very like detached from this person. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Wow, Queen of Swords. This could have been a toxic connection that caused a lot of sadness. You may have waited for them, but decided to move on. I feel like both of you still feel some type of way about the situation, but there's this energy of moving on. Healing. Could be a Libra, Sagittarius. But there was a lot of like toxicity in this with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Both were quite sad about the situation. But I see you freeing yourself from this. Let me look at your main spread. February. All right. Pisces. What's coming up for Pisces for the month of February 2024? Pisces for February. Three of Swords reverse. This person's very burdened. Like they're trying to heal from this situation, but they're very burdened by their feelings. Page of Swords. Some of you might rebel against this situation. You might get into an energy of rebelling, but then you could meet someone <laughs> during that moment. Because um, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And you got the Four of swords four of cups some of you are unsatisfied with your love life or with whatever this person was offering you feel like they're non-committal or they're just this, this could be some of you going through a divorce with this person if you were married by the ten of wands in reverse yeah they're they've because they avoided their feelings for you in the past they are being weighed down by them right now Um, I'm hearing two songs. I'm hearing Aaliyah, I Miss You, and I'm hearing uh, Tony Braxton. Is it called I Don't Want To? I Don't Want to Sing Another Love, love Song. Don't Want to Laugh, Don't Want to Play. But I'm also hearing um, the, the Aaliyah song is um, don't want to hear about nothing the part where she's saying something about this person not wanting to do anything like they feel like they can't do anything they're not going out as much they're not having fun they're kind of just weighed down by their feelings 
Why the Three of Swords in reverse? Five of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart because this is very similar to the Aquarius reading up here with the Three of Swords in reverse. There's a lot of this. This person is dealing with a lot of disappointment. They feel left out in the cold and they're trying to heal from this. Why well, the Two of Pentacles in reverse? They feel like you dropped them. They feel like you freed yourself. You've gotten fed up of their lies or whatever they were doing. They feel like they failed the relationship. Why the Four of Swords? Could be a Sagittarius. You waited. You feel like you waited enough and you decided to do what makes you happy. Why the Four of Cups? Yeah, this person could have been a player or they could have been trying to choose between you and someone else and you got fed up of that. You just don't want the one-sided connection or someone who's indecisive. Why the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, it's really talking about you freeing yourself from them, but then wanting to repeat a cycle with you. Three of Pentacles, why is this here? Feel like you're looking forward to the future. Some of you could be working on something, but I see you having a new person in your life, a new connection. Why the Nine of Swords? There was a lot of sadness and pain between you two, but you are manifesting a better situation for yourself and you're going for it. Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? Three of Swords. Some of you are rebelling, like you could just go out and enjoy yourself because you know you feel kind of hurt about the situation. Maybe you did that already in the past. Um, this person could be really upset about the ending of the situation. There's definitely they're definitely missing you. Let's see what else we got. Messages for Pisces for February. Spying, social media, network. No, social network, information ways. Chasing, pursuing, toxicity, resilience. Family, fertility, parenthood, pregnancy, and longing, craving, aching, wanting. This person could feel like they want to chase you at some point. But it's because they feel it's because they feel like they like they think you would give them another chance. I don't see you doing that, but it's what they feel like would happen. Seeking answers, it could be Watching readings about you, got revenge, settling the score. Scattered pieces, grounding is needed. Guarded, cautious, afraid, and haunted, confusion, inner turmoil. Who's seeking revenge? Careful with this person, because there was some toxic... Yeah, ooh. Careful with this person. This is clarifying, seeking revenge. This is narcissistic energy and deception, trickery. And someone's actually thinking about doing it. So when it comes to this person, if you had a toxic back and forth with them, they could be wanting to seek revenge because you decided to move on or to just free yourself from the situation. Pisces. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Regrets, secret affairs, deceitful. I want to take care of you. Financial support, emotional fulfillment, masculine energy. 
I do get someone, like I said in the beginning, someone who's very giving is coming towards you. So this could be the new person. Can I take you away? Holiday, seaside, escaping. Yeah, you got someone who's coming in. You don't know who I am. Wearing a mask, delusional, hiding their true self. So whoever this person is that you have this toxic situation with, they have the king of swords, your reverse seven of swords. They could have thought the grass was greener on the other side, could have tried to move on. Fun times, parties, events, having fun, travel. <laughs> Honeymoon, vacation, enjoyment, and then you got serious relationship. Marriage, union, partnership, you have union twice. So that means this person who's very giving, they're coming in. You guys could actually travel together because it does say kind of take you away. Holidays and then fun times. You got true gem, valuable, quality, jewelry. They could give you jewelry. Messages for Pisces. Friends to lovers. You guys could start off as friends. Reunited. Free yourself and un unexpected. So when I was clarifying the outcome, I was kind of getting with this six of cups. You could be connecting with someone from the past. It doesn't have to be this person. It could be someone else. Um, I was getting it, but I didn't really see any more cards to support it. That you could have like a uh, intimate situation with someone from the past maybe it's an old friend and you guys do end up together with the reunited i see you freeing yourself from a toxic situation but you could reunite with a friend or maybe it was an ex from the past who didn't where it wasn't like a toxic situation but i see like some kind of past encounter so for some of you it could be completely new for others of you there could be a reconnection with a person that you used to know Maybe things didn't get off the ground. Maybe you guys were just friends. There's like a spontaneous energy with it as well. Purified reunited. Could be someone from work, someone you used to work with. Maybe you were with someone when you guys were friends. But there could be an exciting new beginning between you and someone. Maybe you had a crush on them, but you didn't act on it. Let's see. Pisces, what are the messages for Pisces? Don't second guess yourself. They are testing the waters. Unity is powerful and... What is meant for you will find you. So whoever this new person is, whether they're from your past or brand new, they'll find you. You guys will have good times together. Who's testing the waters? The ex could be trying to test to see if they still have access to you. To see if you're still willing to give to them, but they're very toxic. And they could be seeking revenge because... They felt like they shouldn't have to chase you. So they could like try to like take back the power from you, take your power away and have control. So careful with a, with a toxic ex, I want to say. But there could be a reconnection from the past, but not a bad person from the past. Could even be someone you were only friends with at the time. But they could be brand new. There's definitely someone very giving though that's coming in. So Pisces, this is what I'm seeing for you. They could be a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini. Um, Taurus energy, Gemini again. I think those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.